Hello everybody and welcome back to Endless Space. Uh, for those of you who are new, I'm Katmandu and in this episode we're going to continue on with our playthrough of Endless Space. So yes, yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. If you are, don't forget to smash that like button. Uh, if you are liking it, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, both the likes and subscribes really do help the channel out massively, so if you could show your support, man, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you guys would like to get in contact with me, in the description down below is all my contact details, so you can go and check all that out. Uh, if you guys would also like to be in with a chance of winning a giveaway at 500 subs, don't forget to be subscribed as well. So yeah, so in the last episode, um, we built our fleet up a little bit. We've now got a couple of uh, fighter ships. Uh, I've got a colony ship, or I've actually got two colony ships ready. Um, yeah, so I've got a scout, a colony. Uh, that's my fighter ship, fighter ship, another colony, and a scout. Right, so I've got two scouts, two colonies, two fighter ships. Um, I was having a look as well. When I'd finished recording the last episode, I was having a, I was having a look in uh, the tech tree, and I have actually noticed that if you go down to uh, where is it somewhere down here, I could actually be doing it here. I'm not actually sure. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, I've I've started uh, researching this because if you have a look there, it says colonization program. Uh, you can now populate stars far from your star in constellation. However, to do this will require effort at all levels of the society by creating an official program and stressing the need to sacrifice small comforts in service of a larger cause. Some of the discontent caused by colonization can be minimalized. So yeah, so this is what we need to colonize other star systems, I guess you could call it. So yeah, so I went out, I've gone on to that straight away. I want to I wanna do it because in this episode I want to try and um, colonize somewhere else. So we're going to have a quick look at that. Uh, this is hero leveled up again. Nice. You're at level 3 now. Beautiful. So if we go to our hero panel. And we click on her. Did I do him? Yeah, I did him, didn't I? So if I go to inspect. Um, right, what can I give her? What we got here? Veteran. Wow, that gives initial experience with your empire. Give the hero a bonus in every attribute. Okay. Uh, that's for labor. Obviously, I want it to be offense or defense, really. Uh, that's three wit. That's offense on a hero, and that's defense. Uh, I might do offense on her now. Just in case we need to fight. Obviously, I think the first one was defense. Now we'll do an offense. Get her really good at fighting. That'd be, that'd be nice and handy. Can I just double check quickly what... Um, oh, she's part of the Kappa. Right, okay. Right, okay, so let's end turn again. Uh, hero leveled up. Nice. Another one. So that's now you. Let's see what good you're at. Oh, you've got plus 25 defense. Plus 25 defense on star system. Okay. So you got no labor, no wit. You've got melee, offense, and defense. Uh, I think I'm going to put yours in offense as well. Just because I feel like if I need to fight, I'm just worried about being uh, sort of snuck up on and having to fight. And uh, yeah, we're going to sort of be left caught. So if I try and get these a little bit better on the fighting side of things. Obviously, I know I'm quite going through the turns quite quickly because I'm trying to get this research done. What was that? Oh, yeah, so we've had no contact yet with anything. What, is, what ship's this? That's the colony ship. Can I have you sit in... That's a scout. Uh, I'm just trying to see which one I want to sort of colonise first. I don't know if it was this one, Warden 2, because that seems like quite a good one. I'm not sure if it was that one. Yeah, it wasn't that one. That's Hostile Fauna. I'm not ready for that one. Or it could have been this one, because this one's quite... What's that? 2-2... Two, two... Oh, yeah. So, 2-6-2-2. Two, two, two. And this one is 2-8-2-2. Two, two, two. Right, so I'm going to do that one first then, Warden 2. So, if I can get my ship... 
to head over there, ready to be colonised. That would be nice. Right, let's end turn. So get them moving. Uh, hero leveled up again. Nice. Let's go back to the hero. You're on to four now. Beautiful. Um, right, what else? I want to get these up on these. Because obviously th he's looking after my, our main colony at the moment. So I'd like to try and get him further up on that. Obviously that's good. It's one up on everything. But obviously I don't really want the offense and defense. Get him up on... Initial practice in their new environment gives the hero improvements in generating dust and science. Ooh. With more experience under their belt, the hero increases output of industry and food. Right, so that could that would be industry and food. Plus three. Or shall I do more dust? I might do more dust and science. Just because I think that's pretty uh, important. I think, obviously, like I said, dust is like the currency. Look, up there, 408. So I think dust is actually pretty important in this game. Let's do another turn. Alright, what have we got? We've got five more turns left for the research to be done. Trying to get our colony ship over here. Because that's where I want to colonise first. I want to do Warden 2. Let's get that keep moving up. Keep on keeping on. What's that? New interactive galactic event, sleeping war machines. Explorers have found a frozen exoplanet full of weird machines of unknown origin. Whilst it is hard to tell if there are tools of the endless or some other even more alien civilization, scientists are in agreement that the machines were built for uh, destruction. Since the planetary body is not part of a currently claimed system and seems not worth colonizing, every faction has equal right to it. Select an event option. Selfish. Additional effects of the selected option. Ooh. What's that do? That gives us plus 30 on, all, on systems for all empires. Is that minus 20 on dust though? Ah. Try to extract as many war machines as you can for your own empire. By pouring more of your resources into collective research, every empire can profit from the new findings. You found a way to activate some of the machines. Since they are earthbound to the exoplanet, the only victim will be scientists. Oops, on the bright side, this slows down enemy research. Hmm. That would be minus 20 on systems for other empires. That's plus 30 of system for all empires. Minus... I don't really want to help out any other empire, to be honest. So it's either going to be that one or this one. I think I'm going to go selfish. Just because I'm trying to build my empire. Obviously, I would expect other empires to do the same, I think. End of auto explore mode. That's fine. I want them sitting there. Alright, let's do a turn again. Oh, hello. New galactic event. Superbug Contagion. One of the side effects of highly developed life science is highly resistant diseases. Whilst research generally manages to keep a step ahead of them, in this case an outbreak has um, decimated millions of your loyal subjects. Nicknamed the Raptor Virus, it seems to pop up everywhere most unexpectedly. Minus one on three planets with at least two... Oh, wait, what? Interactive event summary. Uh, explorers have found a frozen exoplanet. Right, okay, yeah. Okay, so what? Ah, oh, so I lost some of my population. Ah, oh, okay. Damn, well that's not good, is it? Hopefully it'll, uh, people are unhappy. How do I make people happy? Call of Distant Constellations. 
You have discovered the technology required to safely traverse the wormholes that link constellations, which brave captain will discover what lies beyond and what riches or horrors await them. Hmm, I don't know. After decades of experimentation with uh, plates of the right size, material and distance, the vacuum energy created through the quantum mechanics of the Casimir Kas effect can finally be exploited as an energy source. Okay. So now can I colonise? How do I colonise? Please, help me. Uh, actually, hang on a minute. Isn't it on... F it could be on fleets. Which one is my... That's my colony fleet. Click to automatically explore the galaxy with this fleet. No, I want to... Yeah, there you go. That's it. Colonise the star system this fleet is orbiting. Yes. Select a planet to colonise. It was... This one. Yes! We've colonised the planet! There you go, it's in blue. Yes! Exploration has its hazards and its rewards. Here, at least, a ship touches down safely and a new life begins, though the act of colonisation is often far less simple. Plus 10 on Star System Warden. Warden. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Haggard, unsure but full of hope, the first colonists of your faction have set foot on another planet. It may seem trivial, but even the most epic adventures begin with a single step. Mate, that's epic. Alright, now we can start doing stuff here, can't we? Right, so we got 8, 3, 2 and 2. Um, so can we start off? Yeah, we've got robot locals as well, which are willing to help, so that's cool. Uh, can I, what is that underneath, what's the 15? Heroes for hire, zero. Next to next, oh, the next in 15, oh, so 15 turns I can get another one. Um, so can I up uh, food, maybe? If I up food, would that grow the population? Yeah, let's, um, let's queue that up. And then what I want to do is I want to get one of my fighters. Uh, possibly Delta. Can I get Delta to go there, please? Are you Delta? Thank you. Right, let's uh, oh, let's do some more research. Right, so the ones in blue are now done. Excellent. Right, so what have we got here? Colonization of Arctic, and we've got a advanced uh, magnetic drive. Plus two on Empire. Okay. As understanding of electromagnetic forces improves, higher energy magnetic cores are more powerful. Control systems are used to increase the speed of the basic string induction drive. Nice, nice. Uh, what we got over here for science? Because obviously we've got things that are like three turns and stuff. So I'm trying to do... I don't know if to do this wealth one, actually. Uh, advanced dust gen. Construction effects. Increases industrial dust conversion from 33% to 50%. Ooh. I've got no oranges up there quite close. I'm going to do this orange one because it said that these were actually quite important. So let's research that. Nice, nice. Let's do a turn. Heroes leveled up. Let's move our fleet. That's one of our battle fleets. I want them to sort of help us around there. Uh, another one of our heroes has leveled up. That is beautiful. That would be you. Right, what else can we do? There's three on the offense again. Maybe defense this time. Hang on a minute. What did what did that actually change? Oh, okay. Right, yeah. Let's accept that. That's beautiful. Okay, so how are we getting on here? You can click and drag active population units to move them to another planet. Oh, can you? What do you mean click and drag? Yeah, well, it's only like, I can't take them to another... Well, I can't do that, can I? 
Drop the populated unit on a colonized planet. Obviously, we can't do that because it's not colonized. How do I do it in another star system, though? Like, I'd like to move population to there, maybe? Right, so what we got sitting there, then? Should be a scout, shouldn't it? Should be a scout and a fighter. Uh, can we keep scouting? Click to automatically explore the galaxy with this fleet. Ooh, we can. Uh, can I do the same this way? Oh, you're not going to go that way, no? That is a scout one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we found another one over here now. Kessler Syndrome. Red, red super giant. Ooh, wee. Okay, so end turn. Let's move them on. What the hell is this? Unknown fleet. Oh, hang on a sec now. Oh, that's, um... Oh, Red Sang. Isn't that important? This red spice is derived from the lichen that thrives on coral reefs but can be found anywhere there are traces of water. It is prized for its strong spicy flavour as well as its noticeable effect on biological health and longevity. Ooh, we could do with that. That would be... Pardon me, that would be very handy. These all, 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 these all look quite colonisable. I don't even know if that's a word. Oh, wait. Wait, they moved. Unknown fleet moving in. You better, you better, you better back off now. Uh, I need to do one more turn, I think. Yeah, for our research. Let's move them on. Oh, we're going up there now. I'm gonna set. Let's check this out quickly. EM radiation, hostile fauna, geothermic activity. What's that? It looks like a looks like a bug or something. I'll read that in a sec because I want to go just check this out. This had a lot of things, man. That's got some red sang again. Transvite there. Concrete artifacts. Proto orchard. Okay, look, 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 look. One enemy fleet here now. Fleet orbiting warden. They're not very good. Fighting's only 21. Can I... Oh, hang on a sec. When an, when an option battle is possible at the arrival around a system, the fleet attack icon starts blinking. That one, right, okay. Clicking this icon opens the encounter panel, which gives you critical information before the battle. This panel opens automatically if the enemy attacks you. Your forces are shown on the left, the enemy's forces on the right. Okay, so that's mine, that's theirs. Yeah, your forces are shown on the left. Right, okay. Uh, the strength of each fleet is represented by its health and military power, which is the sum of all ships of the fleet. Okay, so that's 41795, the other one's 23281, okay. You can see the order of battle of the ships participating in the battle and hover your cursor to check their stats. Okay, so you can hover them to see what health they're at, I guess. Uh, the balance of power gorge represents your chances of winning the battle. It compares the product of current health percentage by military power and uh, for you and your opponent. Okay, so that's slightly in favour of this one. Uh, you can pre-select pre a target strategy for the first and following phases. Uh, you can pre-select a fleet formation for the duration of the combat. Uh, you can pre-select... What's that say? You can pre-select a battle action for each combat phase. Long range, medium range, melee. Right, okay. If you feel secure enough to win the battle, you can play it in auto mode. Otherwise, select the manual option to visualise and direct the encounter. Oh, mate. So you can actually watch it and sort it all out yourself. I don't think I want to do that, though. Because I'm going to lose. Right, so are they... Yeah, so they, it looks like they're like... They want to engage in battle. Is that what they're trying to say? Can I just read all this first, please? Right, so completed construction on that. Right, we've got some food popping there now. 
Uh, research, research is done, so that's nice. Virtual wreck. Uh, the ship is impossibly dense as the virtuals required no rooms and corridors. This ship is almost a solid mass of endless technology. Uh, this much dust is a convenient package, is a gift that can't be ignored. The wreck should be turned into cold hard cash. A new colony ship is created on the player's latest colonized system. Uh, one technology is randomly discovered. Let's take the dust, bro. First contact. You have encountered the Automaton's Empire. Have I? Where? Uh, beginnings are delicate things. Friendly or foe, ally or enemy, you have made contact with another spacefaring species. Treat them as you would have them treat you. Right, so what is this? Oh, this is these. Right, well I don't want to necessarily fight, but I want to have a look at this. But it's just a scout. So I want to go into a... I want to go into a bit of a defense formation. Oh, I've only got one one ship anyway. Um. It can't really be. It's only a scout. So can I like not do this? No, I don't. I don't want to fight. This is the thing. I want to. It's just a scout ship. I don't want to fight it. It's just a scout ship. Can I just enter? I got no research. I don't want to fight it. Uh, obviously, I'm quite happy not to fight it. Uh, I feel like I want to go down some science. I don't know what it's actually going to do. Non-baryonic collider. Building a very large scale particle accelerator will permit the discovery of the existence and characteristics of WIMPs. Weakly interacting massive particles. This will be critical for the understanding of dark matter, dark energy and non-baryonic particles in general. Okay. Lossless fusion pods. Okay, that, that requires Hyperium. There's Hyperium there. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go for... What's this? Uh, I think I want to go for more colonization. One of these three here. <clears throat> Colonize Arctic. That gives us that. Or I'm going to go for this one. Pending battle? I don't want to battle though. <laughs> Can't I just leave it? Right, just auto it. Once the battle is resolved, you can check the battle report in the encounter panel. Uh, the health and military power of remaining ships are updated. Destroyed and surviving ships are displayed for each side. Okay. Uh, the selected battle actions are displayed with their effects on the engagement. Uh, global st uh, statistics summarize your ship's losses and show how much XP a hero has earned. If a hero is injured, they will turn into your academy waiting to be healed. Okay. The first column displays how much damage you inflicted on the enemy as well as the average efficiency of the enemy's defences as a percentage, how much damage passed through the enemy's defences or was stopped by them. Okay. The last column is the opposite, showing how much damage the enemy inflicted. Right, okay, I'll get that. Can I have a look then? The ship is... Right, okay, we got that. So, where's... Where's the thing then? Where's the thing? Where's the where's the where's the where's the report on the fight? Huh? Do I not have a report on the fight? Uh, 
Okay, well, I have no report on the fight then. Okay, fair enough. I'm a little bit worried now, though. Right, let me read what this was, actually. Let's go back to... Where is it? Yeah, this. What is this? The two great factions of the Endless, the Concrete and the Virtuals, were once a single people discovering the myr myr myriad mysteries of the universe. More advanced than current science, the artifacts they left behind are useful in improving ship capacity and design. Ooh. Fancy. What is that? Oh, that's colonizable. Okay, what is this? The endless masters of stellar navigation and deeply aware of the structure of the galaxy left the most curious in installation at this point in space time to the best understanding of faction science. This is a point where magnetic, gravitational, baryonic fields generated a slight ripple in the fabric of reality. The role of this ruin was once to harvest quadrinics from whatever matter passes through the discontinuity. To unlock the full potential of this endless wonder, a restoration is needed. Okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll learn it as we go. I wanted to know what the battle of this, I know, I know it was only a scout ship, but I wanted to know what went down there. Oh, we've got, we've, we've got more people now. Is that because of um, food? Is that the food? They all going up? Because they were like twos or something, weren't they? Oh, I don't know. Right, let's, uh, what is this? Discover of the Wonder, Tunneled Slipgate. A natural anomaly, a natural, a natural anomaly where probable existence is less than zero. This series of natural quantum linked transport gates link the planet's surface with various points in the star system. Space time is full of bridges, shortcuts and holes, allowing rapid transport through the system. Okay, where'd you find that then, bro? Show me. Ooh, what have we found out? Uncovering the stars. You have mapped half of the known galaxy, an achievement as practical as it is impressive. After all, knowledge is the first step to power and control. Sweet. Exploration event zoop. Over here, okay. Have a look. That's familiar. Well, I've read them before. Let's have a look what's actually on here. Oh, titanium. They're all colonizable. Really? How so? So what's colonizable here then? Just that one. Then what's col what's colonizable here then? Wow, that's a lot of planets. Pretty much all of them are colonizable. Jeez, well we're not we're not at any sort of stage like that yet. I don't know why you got colonizable asteroids. What are we doing here at the moment? What are we oh, we've got science up. Oh, we're back to full population there again. That's nice. Yeah, I'd like to be able to start to colonise or at least put people here if I can. But obviously I'm going to need more research to do that. So let's just keep going over the turns. Alright, that's research completed. Oh, he's going to that one there. We are, we are spacing out really well. We're doing really, really well. Uh, what's this? Byra? The vegetation on this planet is different from the one that settlers knew. Right, okay. Yeah, I've heard all that before. Right, so now we can colonise cold planets. So is that actually... Yeah, it's actually allowed us to... Medium Arctic we can colonise now. That's nice. So that's heat, isn't it? That's going to be heat, and that's gas. So we're going to have to sort of try and research them, I guess. It's going to be like gas and heat, isn't it? Colonised desert. Uh, that's Oh, that's the moon survey. So if we do that one, we can uh, survey the moons next. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, that's colonised barren. Ah, uh, that's colonised asteroids, okay. Colonise gas giants. So we need to come... Yeah, we need to start colonising down there a little bit, don't we? Uh, I don't want to come too far down there and sort of um, leave behind others. I want to start maybe getting some more science done. Applied science technology tree. Let's do this one. So if we can get this Hyperium, then we can do this. 
Intelligent tools. Core mining. Let's do that one next. And, um... Yeah, so I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Um, so, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, don't forget to smash that like button. Uh, if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, both the likes and subscribes really do help the channel out massively. So if you could show your support, then that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Oh, he's got one more point here. I'll give him to that in a sec. Yeah, so if you guys would like to get in touch with me, in the description down below is all my contact details. If you guys would also like to be in with the chance of winning the giveaway at 500 subs, don't forget to be subscribed as well. And uh, yeah, until the next time, guys, have a good one. Stay safe out there. Peace out.